They did not this time. And I think it is because of what I've mentioned about their pricing power, at least the power they thought they had, um, really diminishing quite sig significantly in the beginning. And the, the market is beginning to understand that. Um, fixed income. Uh Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Finance Wolf. In this video, Kathy will examine the price of Bitcoin as well as regarding the prices of all currencies and cryptocurrencies. We really didn't make it past the peaks from October of 2022. Now, what's the similarities between now and then back then? The Chinese Yuhan was depreciating at our rate that the Chinese government didn't like and lots of secrets Kathy discussed. So please watch the video to the end and like, share, subscribe to our channel Finance Wolf. Thanks. Kathy also says that the price of Bitcoin dropped after the BlackRock field and that fixed income increased interest rates. So in the last month, uh, the best sector has been energy. Energy prices have gone up. Um, we got some uh, data from Saudi Arabia today or on Saudi Arabia and Kuwait. Uh, their exports have collapsed. They've gone from, uh, in the case of Saudi Arabia alone, I think roughly a seven and a half to eight million unit barrel range down to five and a half million. I mean, that's unbelievable, especially because uh, at these prices, even at these prices, uh, it was break even at the prior level of production. So it's probably in a deficit position and and uh, we're marveling at the the prices it's paying uh, to attract sports franchises. So, you know, that's a big disconnect out there. Nonetheless, energy sector was the best. Uh, and, you know, if Saudi Arabia is going to normalize its production schedules, which it will have to to pay for all these sports franchises, uh, we believe that energy prices will come down, especially as electric and autonomous make their way into the system. Healthcare and con, uh, consume, uh, communication services were the, um, the next best. And while energy was up, healthcare and uh, communication services were down. On the other side of the ledger, interest rate sensitive uh, stocks and categories were hit hardest, utilities and real estate, uh, because the Third, the 10-year uh, treasury yield because interest rates went up. Um, the other category that was down, and this is surprising when the market is uh, in a weak spot, consumer staples tend to outperform. They did not this time. And I think it is because of what I've mentioned about their pricing power, at least the power they thought they had, um, really diminishing quite sig significantly in the beginning. And the, the market is beginning to understand that. Um, fixed income, uh, as I mentioned, interest rates went up, hurt those interest rates uh, sectors, but it was a really important test. Um, we really didn't make it past the peaks from October of 2022. Now, what what is the similarity between now and then? Uh, back then, uh, the Chinese yuan was depreciating at a rate that the Chinese government did not like. And so it started selling our bonds and its reserves have actually been going down. Its dollar reserves are down from a peak of 1.2 trillion uh, to 80, uh, 834 billion now. Uh, and the reserves are dropping 10 to 20 billion a month. Uh, we believe that this last month, which is when the yuan went back to the level where it was last October, that the uh, the PBOC was selling uh, uh, its dollar reserves aggressively uh, in order to get dollars to support the yuan. And so we wouldn't be surprised to be a, see a very big drop in those foreign exchange reserves. So, and, and Japan is doing the same thing. It did not like uh, the level to which the yen had depreciated 145 to the dollar. And so it too has been selling. So there, there have been some big sellers in the market, China, Japan, our own treasury to support 
fiscal spending. And yet it was not able to crack that four, uh, 435 level from, from last October. Uh, that, that, that was very bullish. It's, uh, it got down to uh, the low fours uh, with this morning's uh, employment report and now is backing up uh, a bit to 417. But so we're still in this testing level. Um, we think China is in a world of hurt. Uh, the depreciation of the yuan um, means that the purchasing power of the yuan is diminishing, which hurts their consumer. And the consumer, uh, we think, is already uh, feeling a very low level of confidence because property prices are still falling. And these real estate companies, so uh, Country Garden and Evergrande, um, they are still defaulting on debt and and uh, it's um, uh, reaching the headlines. Why is this important to the consumer in China? 70 to 75% of their savings uh, is in the property sector and very often in empty apartments. So um, not a good thing for confidence. As far as uh, the fixed in other news in the fixed income realm, um, I mentioned the yield curve earlier, still inverted, but spreads. So the difference between uh, corporate uh, interest rates and the government interest rates, uh, those are well behaved. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of stress out there or that fixed income investors are uh, noticing it. Um, uh, but stay tuned. If the consumer gives way, those spreads will pick up. Commodity prices in the month were, were flat on average. Uh, Bitcoin price was down. Um, there was a lot of excitement uh, after BlackRock uh, filed uh, for a Bitcoin ETF. Uh, it shot up from 25, 26,000 to 30,000 and just came back down. Um, it got a little excited when uh, the SEC lost its case uh, against Grayscale and, uh, and, and then came right back down when the um, SEC basically uh, d did not approve uh, the Bitcoin filing of Invesco and, and Wisdom Tree. So that was interesting. And then just a few more points on deflation. Um, there's bad deflation, and I, I talked a little bit about that. If companies have taken their prices too far, those will unwind, uh, and that will probably hit margins. Um, and certainly monetary policy has, has set us up for a lot more of that because uh, M2 is still declining on a year-over-year -year basis. The full impact of monetary policy today will not be felt for about a year. Uh, so we think the bad deflation could uh, be uh, could move into next year. Uh, but as I mentioned before, that severe margin pressure um, will um, will attract or or will encourage more companies uh, 